Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCE video series. Today's video is on download roles from Ansible Galaxy and use them. So it's literally um, downloading of the roles um, from a website called Ansible Galaxy and you can download multiple different um, community based roles um, and yeah it can just help you um, save lots of time where you can skip um, a lot of build work um, creating these roles for yourselves um, where it's already been created by someone already before so you can just reuse these bits of code or these roles essentially and not, yeah, save yourself considerable amounts of time so the Ansible um, Galaxy site is https uh, galaxy.ansible.com and if you visit that page you'll get to the very same home page I've just showed you here uh, they've got a most, most popular section um, you can visit the common um, headings here um, so if it's something around um, Pacific uh, perhaps system packages you can click on system there and you can see uh, a load of different types and you've also got Pacific tags so if it's system and then Docker, you could potentially look for Pacific Docker type um, roles there. Um, and you it obviously it goes down to, we can go down to the security level um, here and etc. etc. So I'm just going to um, search for one called uh, Crony. So that's an NTP client. Um, so, yep, so this is the. Uh, chap he's been around for um around a while so you can see he's got 26,000 downloads there he's got a five out of five score from the community so i i'm fairly okay we can see that the uh the builds are all passing so it's looking pretty good to be able to use we've got uh a, a, a actual collection name is that uh so the full name is this eric sysmin dot system and we can see the different roles available in here. So he's actually got multiple roles in one, which is quite nice. So you've got the crony one, I got EPL, log rotate, NTP, uh, Remy repo, and the um, SE Linux. We actually should be able to click on here and look at the GitHub. <laughs> Although it looks like the page does not display. Okay, so I managed to find it at least. Um, so we can have a look a bit more about the um, documentation here and you can actually click on the roles here and it will obviously go to the github here and we can have a look in each of them to have a little bit more information about the role itself and any variables here so what the defaults are um, and any examples so I'm going to I'm going to go pretty simple perhaps do a um, a config as well on top of it but beyond that it's yeah pretty pretty simple role there but yeah as I mentioned this one's got quite a few roles in here you can obviously um, play around with the other ones as well so to go ahead and install the role let's first copy that name and I'll go onto the server itself so I'll just um, install the collection now so it's Ansible Ansible hyphen galaxy collection install and then it will be author name dot collection name so in this case it's ericsysmin dot system and we wait so we can see quite clearly that it's saying 2.00 so what we can do is double check on the site the current version uh, should have it here somewhere if it's not in here, it should be in here. There we go. Yep. If I click the releases there, I can actually see it's uh, 2.00. So it looks good. Um, it's, yeah, it's got some more. as uh, the supported, latest supported release. So very nice. Okay. Uh, you don't really get any much output from Ansible other than basically it's it's installed. So now uh, let's go ahead. We should have a role from previous. 
Um, so we can just do a save myself any work. So we call it um, install crony.yaml. Okay, so I'm pretty much going to have the, the same here. Um, we're just going to update the name. And the role was, it'll be, I'm just going to go and check the vars we can set. So I actually want to set, yes, so config server. So crony underscore config underscore server. We can set these pool values as well. Let's go ahead and do that zero dot pool. I'll try and remember that. Okay, we may as well. So I think it was okay, pull zero and pull two. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Pull zero and two as well. NTP.org, and uh, that should be about it. So, Ansible hyphen playbook minus i inventory we should have inventory there and let's just bring the screen back hyphen playbook minus i inventory and then install crony so so far so good And you can see it's pretty much um, doing its own thing. I've not configured any of these options and it's doing all the, all the lovely stuff itself. Um, you can see it's now completed. Uh, so it's also done a, it's used a, a number of tasks and then run a handler at the end to um, finally just restart the crony service. So we should be able to see So you can see it's running, uh, crony, crony D is running, um, it's started. Okay, let's check how crony is doing. Okay, so you can see it's syncing with NTP. Uh, it's actually gone ahead and picked a reference ID of this, so obviously it's in, in, this is inside the pool uh, we've configured. We can see the reference time is there. It's very, very slightly off the uh, time and it's, yeah, it just keeps, it's got a nice um, normal reference. So we can have a look at the um, etc. crony conf. And if we have a look in the list of MTP for servers to look to use, we have the ones we configured earlier, so it's zero and two. So yeah, it uh, looks like it's um, done what we wanted. And yeah, that works absolutely fine. So yeah, it's obviously gonna be a bit of a mixed bag with some of these, so not everything you can use in Ansible Galaxy will necessarily work first time or work flawlessly. Um, as you can imagine, it's because some of it's uh, community-based um there is obviously uh some things that just may not work so it's um try it out and in, in non-prod and see how you go with it and uh if all's good then you can move into prod 
uh, that's really about all I had for you on this video. Um, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you next one. Um, right now, I've just popped up on my sc on the screen uh, my T Public page. Uh, that's for any kind of CSG merch. If that's anything you're interested in, uh, got my Kofi page um, for any kind donations. Um, if that's uh, something you're interested in. Um, yep, and also just the details of my Discord server. So that's the best place to ask questions. Um, also we've got obviously you can ask questions in the comments and I'll try and um, help out where I can but this called place is a great place we've got a bit of a community going there and um, you can reach out to myself and also the community and someone will try and help you um, yeah, it's a great community we were building there well thanks again and I'll see you at the next video cheers